Candy. I've got a drawer full of candy left over from Halloween because it rained all that day and all that night and so the trick-or-treaters stayed indoors and I don't blame them one bit but the upshot is that I get to keep all the candy and it's in the drawer down here so that certain people can't find it because it's mine okay aside from that it's been a fairly sort of average weekend today is Sunday Um, I've basically done very little. Some people have been out and had fun. But, um, yeah, it's been, it's been kind of wet and lazy, basically. Uh, I haven't done a great deal at all. Uh, so I thought I'd set up the camera, do a little bit of a vlog. I did that shout-out video, my last video. And I was thinking to myself at the time that I thought... I'll do a shout out video and then I, I realise it's a bit like doing a clip show in the TV sh in the TV show, isn't it? You know, a, a clip show episode where um, they just show bits of old shows and it's kind of a cop out. But then I realised I actually put more time into making the shout out video than into making a normal vlog because I had to go and and um, copy people's videos and then snip out sections of the videos and then fit them into the overall video and make sure they were in timing with the soundtrack and all that kind of stuff so um it wasn't an easy option actually but i hope you enjoyed it i quite enjoyed looking at all those bits and uh, piecing them together um oh the poppy if you're wondering if you're not in the uk and you don't have these in your own country uh, this is a remembrance day poppy Remembrance Day, Armistice Day, is on the 11th of November, so it's coming up before too long, and people are going around wearing these as a sign of remembrance for the fallen troops over the years. You don't have to be a warmonger to wear one of these. You don't have to support the wars that, uh, that they're involved in, or to have had any military experience. Uh, it just means that you are showing some sort of respect for those who gave their lives for you whether you wanted them to or not and um, I think in some some countries you have Veterans Day which is kind of the same thing I guess uh, what I might do closer to that day is go up to the cemetery where my great uncle's war grave is and uh, do a bit of filming down there I'll think about that one whether I think it's appropriate or not I don't know yet Anyway, uh, we had a couple of hedgehogs visit uh, last night. The uh, hedgehogs were very small, so a little bit of concern there because it's coming up to time for them to hibernate. And they're a bit too small at the moment to hibernate, so we're feeding them up peanuts and chocolate and uh, fat from the meat. Not pork, because apparently pork is bad for them. I don't know why, but uh, they've had some beef fat and so long as the cat doesn't eat it first it should build them up but they do need to have a bit of um, reserve about them to be able to survive the uh, the winter in hibernation so uh, that's our bit for nature and the bird feeders are all out and uh, we had a squirrel as well passing through we don't have squirrels around here but one of them suddenly appeared in the driveway trotted along, got a bit of food, and then went through the garden, over the, well, through the hedge, and uh, away into the distance. So where it came from and where it went to, I have no idea, but um, it was nice to see a, a squirrel for a change. Uh, but really, it's been a lazy and a wet weekend. It's not been awfully eventful, and I've not got a great deal done, really. So uh, I thought I'd set the camcorder up and uh, do a little vlog, uh, talk about nothing and bore you all to tears and uh, fill a bit of time in like that. So, okay, that's it I think for now. Uh, hope you all had a great weekend and have a great week ahead. See you later.